Okay, so it's a very special day because today I get my first load of tanks. Here they are, the Coral Flats. So these are the old tanks from Stone Aquatics. Um, There's some nice white stands. I can't wait to get them in place, get them plumbed up, get some corals in here. All right, we got a second batch of tanks now from Stone Aquatics. This is actually the sump, so I can't grab that. This is the sumps, and then one large fish tank. How many, what's the volume of that fish tank? About tank, 350. A 350 gallon tank to start, so we're gonna offload these and see how they fit in the space. All right, so there's the man himself, Mr. Steve Bisser. Thank you so much for the- uh, Jake. But if you don't know, Steve is the owner of uh, Stone Aquatics, and he also started uh, icpanalysis.com. And you have a chemistry degree, right? Yep. Very cool. Let's go over to the water section. Um, because, so this guy's got some, a lot of really good brainy ideas. So he's gonna be, Steve is gonna be my ace in the hole when it comes to figuring out uh, exotic chemistries of certain things. And um, especially when we would do water tests, uh, it just happens that uh, ICP analysis is in Denver so I can just drive over some water samples. So together we're gonna, we're gonna find out some stuff, right? Oh, yeah. For starters, I'm gonna ask this guy to test my water. There's my, my water vat, the makeshift water vat. Like I said, the water here is really good. So I'm only using um, mechanical and carbon right now. And uh, hopefully that'll be enough. Um, maybe in the future I'll use some DI, maybe some, I think I'll set up an RO for like certain times when I wanna make like a really, really clean batch of water. But uh, this is the ICP analysis box. So one water sample and you're based in uh, America, so people yes. can send the samples really fast. And what's the turnaround when somebody sends you a sample after you receive it? Typically two to three business days. All right, so, so yeah, man, we all are very excited about ICP water testing, um, but one of the key factors is just you know, getting those results really quickly. So I'm um, really excited to be working with Steve and ICP analysis for all my uh, extreme water testing needs. And I'm just so lucky that he's here in town. So uh, thanks again for dropping off those tanks. And I'm oh, sure no problem. we'll be hearing from you and ICP analysis a whole lot more. Yep. Boy, what a morning it's been. Um, you know, I'm new to vlogging with this camera, to the vlogging style, and to uh, you know, vlogging in this room. But now I've actually got some tanks to work with. I'm gonna spend some time uh, just getting to know their dimensions, all the different uh, plumbing and holes that are on there. And they also came with some sumps. We've got a, a big bash sea sump and then like a bigger, just kind of massive box right here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out uh, how to get this thing started. I think what I'm gonna do for starters is um, I want to refurbish the tanks. You know, they're definitely scratched up pretty good. That's why I was able to uh, afford them with my very limited budget. But I think I'm gonna get this tank started just kind of like quick and dirty, just get it going enough for corals while I refurbish these other two tanks but even that's gonna take a little while so um, very soon I'm gonna set up a, a token little nano reef tank so I have one coral in the space and I can uh, you know just have a coral to come say hi to uh, when I come to the studio so uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I know some of the videos earlier were the focus was in and out, but I promise it's going to get better. It's going to get better really fast. And I'm going to be spending a lot of time here and making more videos than ever and original videos. Um, I guess there's so many things I could explain about this space, but really like the one thing I want you to take home is like, I haven't really shared my personal reef tanks very much because they're kind of private, they're my escape, and they're not really up for judgment or debate or criticism. And, and that's what I've always been private about tanks. It doesn't matter how good it looks, somebody's gonna, there's gonna be haters, right? But this space right here, this is we're gonna share everything from start to finish. We're gonna share the mistakes, we're gonna share the successes. And um, I really hope you guys enjoy coming along. Um, definitely give me some feedback on what will make this a better series, uh, a better 
educational tool for everyone. So uh, yeah, thanks you guys for tuning in. I think we're, I have a lot of videos and a lot of work ahead of me, <laughs> but you know what, honestly, the best part about having these tanks in here right now is how much it reduces the echo. The echo is unbearable. I almost had to whisper loudly to prevent the echo. So uh, yeah, got a lot of things happening here at the Reef Builders channel, the Reef Builders studio. I am really excited. Now I can really, really start. And um, I'll come back at you guys as soon as I have something else to show. So thanks for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe because we're just getting started. Like and comment, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.